Hi guys, just a quick video, just a random little order unboxing. Scruffy Crow. So this is a delivery from Die Hard Miniatures. And I've picked up a few bits and pieces uh, with Stargrave in mind, but also just because I really like these minis and I've had my eye on a couple of them for a while. Uh, so let's start looking at these then. They're very securely wrapped up in these little bundles of uh, bubble wrap. Okay, that's part of a mini. Uh, so this is part of the war robot. It's looking pretty cool. He looks chunky and weathered. Uh, we've got a bit of flash up here, but nothing we can't deal with. Getting the hang of this now. They're in little bags. Okay, uh, here's some more of the same robot, I think. Uh, what else have we got? We should have two robots all together. Okay, here's the smaller one. So he's a standard 28mm model, uh, just to scale him to. So this guy is sort of normal, human sized. Whereas this guy is considerably chunkier. Uh, and so he is toting this underslung gun. And then also has these big old fists coming out the top. You can get this guy uh, in multiple pieces, so the arms are separate. And then there's a few other robots on the website. You can kind of mix and match as far as I can see. Um, but I really like this guy for this layout and this pose. So I grabbed him all in one piece. Last but not least is a mini that I've spotted recently on their website. I think it's fairly new. Uh, and this is to go with my range of sort of TV and film personalities. Can you guess who it is yet? We have a bounty hunter with rifle. What I like about these miniatures and these sculpts is the uh, the fact they've got quite sturdy details, and like nice sort of smooth surfaces and flat lines uh, that I think is going to be quite fun to paint. Let's see how this guy scales up. Oh, he's going to be big. He is going to be big. Possibly too big, which might be a shame. Keeping in mind that some of the minis in this for this little gang are going to be even shorter. Yeah, I think actually he's worked out a little bit too big. He'll definitely still get a paint job though at some point uh, because it is still a very cool mini. And I said I do like a, a personality mini. So let's see what the robots look like all put together. Okay, so my guys have been glued together now. Uh, this guy's had some green stuff around the shoulders. Around the shoulders here. Um, and also on his hand and his foot where I uh, went a bit crazy with the uh, <laughs> the pinning uh, I went a little bit too far uh, I was going to do these ones as well I'm actually kind of liking the way they've ended up looking um, I was thinking about moving these circles having them connect more solidly onto these joint these balls um, but I think once they're painted I think that's going to look quite good like that it'll give me a chance to put a little shadow in there Okay, so my guys have all had a black undercoat with a dusting of white because I want the colours on the tops to be quite vivid. But I'm going to paint these up actually separately now. Uh, this guy I've decided I'm going to paint up like one of my bolt action tanks using all the same colour schemes uh, and possibly even do some little transfers on his head. Um, I think he could look quite cool that way. This one, he really reminds me of something from 2000 AD. Maybe ABC Warriors, a bit Dredge Dreddy. There's something of that ilk about him. He's obviously very comic book, those giant hands. Uh, so I'm actually going to do him a lot brighter. Uh, I'm thinking bright red uh, and yellow for his sort of main armoured parts. Sort of really exaggerated. 
Uh, we might even try some hazard stripes on the backs of his fists. Okay, so that's the block colours down. And that's exactly how I envisioned his head to turn out. I think that very much gives me that 2000 AD look I was kind of going for. Uh, the bulk of what's not painted now is going to be black. Um, or silver. Or silvery black. The wall bottles is also looking pretty cool. Alright, so I've got the strips of masking tape on and I've gone over the whole area that I wanted striped with some of this uh, nice Avalon Sunset base paint seems I use those little face plate this is the moment of truth I don't know if this has worked so this will be a surprise for me as well oh so far so kind of good Could be worse, could be worse. Let's check the other side. Ah, let's do all at once, shall we? Whoop. Oh, yes, that's actually... Is that neater than I could have done it? With a brush? Maybe. Ah, but I'm pretty happy with the way that's ended up, actually. All right, I'm super busy at the moment, but I did manage to finish up one of these little robots. Get him on his cool little clear base. I think he's come out really nicely. Uh, so I used all the techniques uh, you can see in my How Do I Paint Tanks video on my channel, all the same colours and everything. I think he's made quite a nice little war, but including a little serial number on there. Uh, and the other guy, I sort of struggled with a little bit actually. Um, I didn't quite get that red as vibrant as I wanted. Uh, but then I used the same technique uh, with the Dabby sponge brush to get some black on there. Uh, and then went around and did the chipping in the silver to get him quite battle scarred. I'm not convinced about how I did the metals on his arms on this thing. It ended up a little bit dark. And I might even revisit that at some point. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with the way he's come out. He's a, a pretty intimidating giant robot. Especially when you compare him to say, like a human size model. He's a, he's a big old lad. But yeah, as far as the Diab miniatures go, uh, they are lovely miniatures. I've, I don't I don't think there's a lot else out there that looks quite like this. So this one really captures that um, Judge Dredd, uh, ABC Warriors sort of vibe for me. I'm really keen on that. Um, and this one, sort of possibly just the little head, uh, but gives me sort of Star Wars vibes. But you could paint him up in a different way and get that same sort of 2000 AD vibe, I think, uh, quite easily. So as I said, happy with the way these came out. Uh, hopefully I can find a use for them in Stargrave when I get hold of those rules. And you should go and check out Die Hard Miniatures immediately and see if there's anything that catches your eye. And that's all for this video. Please let me know what you thought down in the comments. Uh, maybe subscribe for more. And as ever, thanks for watching. Bye.